Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, this is Xavier the Magnificent X here, and sorry if I've been away for a couple months. Uh, long story short, my car died, unfortunately, and um, even though I traded it in and got a new car, I'm in quite a, quite a bit of debt, sad to say, but um, uh, fortunately that's life. But anyway, uh, not to get too much into my personal life, uh, I know this is, sounds a little cheesy and a little uncreative, but I have a top 10 list for you. It's uh, going to be my top 10 most complimented cheapy fragrances. Yes, um, this idea was inspired to me by Yarkin Osman, who participated in the Jeremy Fragrance Review Contest, so shout out to you, Yarkin. Um, Anyway, uh, before I get started on the list, I want to bring out, briefly blow out my five honorable mentions. Uh, f first two come from the House of Ran. Uh, they are Insurrection Pure and Insurrection to Wild. Uh, pure, as you all know, is no strain, but actually both of these, as you all know, are no stranger to the community. Um, this is the most popular Ventus clone. This is the popular clone to Pure Havan. So, very great sense. If you don't have these in your collection, get them. Um, the third one, honorable mention is from Salvatore Ferragamo, and it is the one and only F Black. Um, amazing signature scent. Great for the fall and winter time. Um, it's something you don't want to smell a little too close, but um, when it lingers in the air, when people smell your silage, it's, it's amazing. So F Black, third audible mention. Fourth, as you all know, also needs no introduction from the House of Bentley, Bentley and Ted's. As you all know what this is, sweet, boozy, blast of grapefruit and cinnamon, just done to just near perfection. Another must have in your collection. And last but not least, I think is the under, most underrated of the, f the five honorable mentions. It's from the House of Hane Mori and it is HM. As you can see, this is the Eau de Parfum version. Anyway, what this is, I, lo I love this scent because it has a nice juxtaposition of light and dark. It's a nice, crisp, clean, fresh blast. And it's a nice, crisp, clean lemon meringue pie with a hint of gourmand to it. And, and like I said, as I mentioned before, it has a nice mix of light and dark. So it's not too fresh, but it's not too dense either. So, um, very gorgeous scent, perfect for work, church, and other professional environments. Okay, let's get on to the list. Number 10 is uh, a fragrance that is very popular in the community and probably doesn't need a lot of much introduction. It's the... It's the twin brother, if not cousin, to Allurem Sport, but is more of the airy angel, as they, one reviewer categorized it. And it is the Versace Pour Homme. So you can see this is a 200 mil bottle I got for around, normally get it for around 50 bucks, but I got it from $41 for a website that is sadly no longer in business. Number nine is a very classy scent from the House of Lalique. It is a scent that I believe does not get enough attention in the community, and I am talking about Lalique's Homage Alone. And as you can see, this is the original version and not the Voyageur. As you can see in the box, it's just the original Homage Alone. I'm telling you guys, the bottle is beautiful. And not only that, but the scent is well crafted as well. Um, what this smells like, Homage Alone is, I would say, for for the most part, uh, ninety 
95% similar to YSL's Loam mixed with a few droplets of Dior's Fahrenheit with a regal touch. Let me repeat that again. Um, not about 95% Loam, add it with a touch of Dior Fahrenheit with a regal touch. Um, it's not necessarily a clone of those fragrances, but you'll get vibes of them. Uh, you, it's, you'll kind of get, for the most part, a sweet gasoline vibe. You don't, you wouldn't think that Violet Leaf and Tonka Bean would work, but Lalique made it work very well in the scent. It's not the best performer, but this performs better than YSL's Loam. And honestly, I prefer this over YSL's Loam as well. Uh, number nine spot goes to Homage Alone. Number eight spot goes from comes from the house of Antonio Banderas. It is a fragrance line that I doesn't get enough attention in the fragrance community, and its predecessor gets talked just a little bit more, but not the flanker at all. And the flanker I'm referring to is an Spirit Night Fever from Antonio Banderas. What you get is a sweet, boozy blast of more of a chocolate vibe type of smell with a, a soft pine needle touch. Um, yeah, you wouldn't think that would be work, but it works great in this scent. Um, got this at fragrance net for only $11 shipped, so it's an amazing deal. So. Another must-have. Great for the fall and winter. Number eight spot, Spirit Night Fever. Number seven spot comes from the house of... Pardon me, guys. Comes from the house of Piet Paul Sebastian. And my man, Rio Cappuccino, did a review of this. Great review. Uh, Shout-outs to you, man. Uh... I love the scent as well as he does, and I'm going to co-sign it. I'm talking about P.S. by Paul Sebastian. And as you can see, I have actually been wearing these fragrances, and th this has been getting me quite a few compliments. Uh, I would say this is, to me, this is the classy gentleman in a bottle, even though Grey Vetiver is ca actually considered that. Um, I love Grey Vetiver, but it's not for me since I'm not a suit and tie person, unfortunately. So, P.S. by Paul Sebastian coming in at number seven. Number six spot fragrance. Um, quick sidebar, guys. I am not a big fan of the person behind this fragrance house. I only like the fragrance for what it is. When I show this to you, please don't laugh at me. <laughs> I only like it for what it is. It's a Chris Cleans scent you can wear to work that's not citrus dominant. Yeah, so that's all it really is in a nutshell. So that goes comes in at the number six spot. Okay, now we're going into the top five. So I hope you guys are comfortable and have your popcorn ready. So let's go. Number five comes from the house of Rock Aware. It's a fragrance that got talk a few years ago but has kind of been orphaned in today's fragrance community and definitely leads more love. I am definitely talking about Rock Aware's Evolution. Um, this is one of my top signature scents and I'm definitely going to do a top 10 signature scent list pretty soon. Um, very signature scent worthy as I said. It's a nice boozy blast of rum mixed in with some incense and along with some Tonka bean. A, a little bit similar to Calvin Klein's Encounter, but I think this one's not quite as powdery than Encounter. And also this one has a little bit more character and some depth to it, in my opinion. So Evolution by Rockaware coming in at number five. Um, 
Also, um, before I get into it, my the others, um, this is a fragrance that's very versatile. You can dress it up, dress it down, and wear this to pretty much any occasion. Number five goes to Evolution by Rockaware. Number four spot. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, number four spot comes from the House of Guess, and it is a two-way tie between two also great signature scents of mine. Have gotten me many compliments. I'm talking about Guess Seductive and Guess Seductive, Guess Seductive and Guess Seductive Blue. Um, what this is, is a slightly sweeter, less citrusy version of Sean John's I Am King. Um, it's not necessarily a clone, but you'll get vibes of I Am King. And this one, I would say, is a cross between this and Calvin Klein's Eternity Now for Men. Um, uh, listen, uh, yeah, I would say this is the, I would say of the two is the best people pleaser. This one is the best constructed fragrances, so both of them are very great, valuable scents. Great bang for the buck, about 16 to 20 bucks online for 100 ml. So, great bargain. Uh, number four spot, pardon me. Number four spot comes from the house of I'm sorry, number three spot comes from the house of Versace. It is a fragrance that has gotten quite some, some love by some reviewers, but I don't think it gets the love that it deserves. I'm talking about Versace's The Dreamer. And, um... I know a lot of people dislike this fragrance, but, um... Uh, in case you haven't watched Jeremy Fragrance's uh, review he did, um, you have to, to enjoy the sillage of this. You have to know how to apply this correctly. And what you do simply is you apply the fragrance, spray the fragrance a little further away from your hand to where you can hit the target. Don't, don't spray it this close because it'll be, you'll get a big drop of liquid that's too concentrated. So. And it won't smell so pleasant if, if you apply it that way. So uh, that's just um, how you should properly apply it in a nutshell. Number two spot is for all the fans of the highly loved Paco Rabanne's One Million. And to this fragrance to me is the One Million Killer. I am referring to... This is not from the house of Antonio Banderas. It's from the house of Lamani. And I am talking about AB Spirit Millionaire. Oh my gosh, what a great scent. This is a classier take on one million. Um, still has that fun, energizing vibe of one million. Add it with uh, some more florals. And also, the, this blend of this fragrance is a lot smoother than One Million. And so, and it's also, not only that, but with both fragrances being discounted, this is only a fourth of the cost of One Million, I should say. So, great cheapie to have, great compliment getter, must have in your collection. And last but not least, my number one most complimented cheapie comes from the house of Cody. It's from, yes, the Playboy collection. I'm kind of embarrassed to say, but I have to admit, it, it gets me a lot of compliments. So, what fragrance am I talking about? I am talking about the one and only 
Playboy VIP. Funny thing about this, this is the cheapest fragrance on this list. You can get 100 ml for only $10 at TJ Maxx. I mean, that's just a, a steal. What this is, long story short, a lighter and fresher take of 1 million, minus the bubble gum, and with a soft pineapple touch. Let me repeat that. A lighter, fresher take on 1 million, minus the bubble gum, with a soft pineapple touch. I can't describe to you in words how underrated, incredible and underrated this fragrance is. This definitely needs more appreciation in the fragrance community. Um, so that's it guys, that's my top 10 list for um, my most complimented cheapies. Uh, let me know what your, some of your favorite most complimented cheapies are. And also um, feel free to comment what you th thought of my list. Do you like them, love them, hate them? Let me know down in the comment section below. And in case you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel for future videos and content. I'll definitely appreciate you for it. That's all the time I have for all of you. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. I'm Xavier the Magnificent X saying take care, be safe, have a great day, smell great, and have a magnificent day. Peace.